book. Switched my uh, viewing area for myself up tonight. See if we could get some better light working. Let's see. We're going to talk about some really important stuff tonight. So, hope everybody had a great day. It's a gorgeous fall day where I am. I got to help my grandson with first grade today. So, it's been an A plus day. Any day I get to see my daughter and my grandson, I am happy. So, all right, so we are going to talk um, this evening about not only continuing to boost our immunity through the fall and winter, waves of this, waves of that, um, you know, just the normal crud we are threatened by this time of year, um, whether it's breathing trouble, congestion, maybe lung health, whatever we're trying to support. We're gonna give you some great tips and tricks tonight in addition to what you may or may not already know. So let's start with um, On Guard. You know, this is what we all know to be our most powerful tool in our arsenal, right? And if you don't have, sorry for the glare on my glasses, if you don't have um, the hand soap, the cleaner concentrate, the toothpaste, the mouthwash, the laundry detergent, um, get stocked up. On Guard comes in so many amazing delivery systems. And each time you use any of those products, you are boosting your immune system naturally with all these great antioxidants that offset the oxidative stress in our life. And this is how you boost immunity naturally. So get stocked up on your on guard. That's an order. <laughs> so also, I'm pulling from my little drawer here, Melissa oil, which is uh, lemon balm. So hopefully that's uh, focusing. Um, so Melissa is super, super powerful essential oil. It is lemon balm. And you may have, you may know it as lemon balm as well. So Melissa is, according to Modern Essentials, which is my physician's reference book for essential oils, it has antiviral properties. So this is my, um, my On Guard and my Melissa combination are part of my, what I call super duper immune booster oil. So let's turn off those text message alerts here real quick. Sorry about that. So I have a recipe for a rollerball blend that I use every fall, every winter. I use it um, at night before bed. I'll use it again during the day. If something I feel like has threatened me during the day, somebody's coughing nearby. Um, maybe I've been to a place where I had to touch dirty things like the gas pump or the grocery store. Um, so of course I've got my on guard hand sanitizing mist with me all the time. However, I still want to be sure that uh, I am protected. So I've got a blend and it is. The two oils that I just showed you, On Guard and Melissa, we add frankincense, lemon, tea tree, and oregano oil. And then we put that in a roller ball. I'll, I'll post the recipe on here so you don't have to be writing things down. Um, you want to dilute it with a little fractionated coconut oil because the oregano oil is going to be a little bit warm um, to the touch. You can also, if you really want to kick it up a notch, um, put a drop, just a drop or two in an entire roller ball of this Melissa oil. Um, maybe you got this oil in your BOGO and you didn't know what to do, it, do with it. Remember our BOGO box we got um, in September, I think it was? Um, this was the big headliner in the BOGO box. And if you aren't sure what to do with Melissa, put it in your crud busting roller ball bottle and use it every night before bed. So it's always better to prevent, right, than try to dig out of something that, that's become overwhelming. So um, all of those oils that I just talked about are in that um, 
recipe, which I'm going to post. So, um, and it'll even have the number of drops and everything. So, um, another thing that I always like to talk about when we are talking about um, winter threats and, and winter crud is um, gargling. I love to gargle things out of my throat when I first start feeling the throat is a little bit scratchy because that's how Mary Lou's body tells her she's about to come down with a head cold. Um, starts as a scratchy throat and then I get, I feel really tired. And then the next day I wake up full blown cold. Haven't had that happen in over five years um, because that's about the time that I realized this was stuff I had to do daily to prevent stuff com from coming along. So what I love to do when I first feel that scratchy throat is take um, just a cup of hot water, hot from the tap, not boiling, not microwaved, just as kind of as hot as you can get it from the tap, couple drops of melaleuca or tea tree, couple drops of lemon oil, little bit of sea salt. Um, I prefer the pink Himalayan sea salt. Mix that up with a spoon and gargle with that um, three or four times. You know, I'll, I'll make a, a batch good enough for me to clean the throat three or four times. And when I do that, the scratchy throat, if the throat is get, getting even a little bit sore, it just shuts down the sore throat and I don't get the crud that comes after that. So great winter tip is to um, make a solution of lemon and tea tree oil. It's not the best tasting in the world, not gonna lie, but mix that up with some sea salt, some hot water from your tap and gargle, gargle, gargle with that. So you can even, um, if your throat is really sore, you can even add um, a couple drops of the On Guard to it, because guess what? The clove oil in the On Guard will numb the throat. Clove is numbing. So remember that if you ever get a mouth sore or anything like that as well. So um, the clove oil in the On Guard or straight clove oil will really help with that. All right, so moving on to um, oregano oil. So let's talk just for a little bit about why this is an oil that belongs in your winter wellness arsenal. Um, let's go back just a few thousand years to um, the time of Hippocrates. And if you don't know who Hippocrates is, um, he was called the father of medicine. He was the original doctor, if you will. Um, if you've ever heard about physicians when they graduate medical school and they become doctors, they take the Hippocratic Oath, named after Hippocrates, the father of medicine. So guess what his drug of choice was back thousands of years ago? Uh, this little baby right here, oregano. Herbal oregano, oil of oregano. Um, this was our original antibacterial drug. Before we had synthetic drugs, we did this for thousands of years, which is why I always take a little bit of offense when um, natural remedies are referred to as alternative medicine. People, this is our original medicine. This has been around as long as we have had a planet with humans walking it. Um, this was the medicine that if you look in the Bible, there are 500 references to essential oils. Um, this was it. You know, we didn't have synthetic medicine until about the, the mid 1900s. So um, that's the alternative stuff. That's the new stuff. This is the stuff God gave us. It was in the Garden of Eden. It's in the Bible. So um, that's the, the power of oregano oil. So I will warn you that oregano oil is hot. If I put oregano oil right on my skin, um, it's going to be warm. It's going to sting. So you always want to dilute oregano oil if you're taking it, if you're using it topically. If you're taking it internally, put it in a veggie cap so that you swallow it without it passing through your lips and your mouth um, and make sure you have food on your stomach. So food on the stomach will give the oil something to emulsify with and you're not going to get heartburn. You're not going to be tasting it. It's not going to repeat on you as my mother used to say. Um, so good stuff. Oregano oil is something you want to make sure you have on hand because no matter what you're dealing with, um, we can take care of that. So um, now I want to talk quickly about all the different things that we can do for easier breathing, 
clearing up congestion, um, you name it. And you might have things on hand that you don't realize are good for that. So I just wanted to go over a couple um, off the top list um, kind of, or out of the top list kind of suggestions for you. Um, so a lot of people have peppermint oil. If you have a doTERRA uh, wholesale membership account, when your account renews every year, you're gonna get a bottle of peppermint oil as your anniversary gift. So peppermint oil is great for a lot of things, but it will, just sniffing the cap will. Ooh, open your sinuses, clear your head, put extra oxygen into your system so that you're more alert, more focused, but winter time, great oil to diffuse. If the house is dry, keep that diffuser going all day long with peppermint oil in it to support um, easier breathing. And like I said, focus and alertness. So peppermint oil is great. You can um, put a drop on your thumb and rub it on the roof of your mouth and it will open those sinuses like you probably never <laughs> experienced before. The peppermint beadlets, if you don't know what a peppermint beadlet is, keep those on hand through the winter too. Um, there's a little, about a half drop of oil in a little pearl shape. They come in a tube, looks like a tube of chapstick, but the lid flips up and these little pearls of goodness come out. Um, like I said, about a half drop of oil. So great for that. Um, and then of course, our doTERRA blend um, that is obviously good for breathing is called, you guessed it, Breathe Oil, the Breathe Oil blend which has a lot of things in it like um, peppermint and eucalyptus and lemon and cardamom and um, just amazing. I love the way Breathe smells. Breathe is very um, stress relieving. So if you ever feel like you're stressed out and maybe you're breathing shallow or you need to just take a breath, um, grab your Breathe oil and just put some in your hands, rub your hands together. Inhale it a few times from your hands. Again, diffuse it. Um, breathe is just amazing. It's got a, it's a little sweeter than just plain peppermint oil to me, and it's not quite as powerful as straight peppermint oil. So um, it's great to have, um, you know, when the kids might get a little congested or start getting a snotty nose or, or a stuffy nose, um, it's great for that. So um, I love eucalyptus oil. Where did I put my eucalyptus oil? Here it is. Eucalyptus oil um, to me is just one of the best smelling respiratory oils. It, um, I used to love to have um, dried eucalyptus oil um, in my house before I knew about essential oils and I think it was because um, it just got that smell into the house. Um, I've seen uh, hacks on Pinterest where people take dried eucalyptus leaves and they hang it upside down in their shower. It's so much easier than that. Um, so take your essential oils and sprinkle them on the floor of your shower before you get in. So turn the hot water on, let the shower heat up, sprinkle the oil around, um, not right over the drain where it's kind of washed down immediately. I kind of do the perimeter of the shower around me. And then that just wafts up um, those essential oil molecules, which are super active and volatile, just start, you know, dancing around in the shower and it just smells heavenly. And so it's like being in a steam shower. Um, I went skiing one winter um, a few years ago and the hotel we were staying at had a steam shower and they were pumping eucalyptus oil into the steam shower. And I just sat there in all this steam um, with this eucalyptus aromatherapy and it was pretty heavenly. So you can um, replicate that at home pretty easily. So think about that. So let's talk about another key trick. This is my coffee mug trick with eucalyptus oil, the breathe blend. You can create your own mix of peppermint and lemon and tea tree. Um, and you put, you take a coffee cup, it's just a regular old coffee cup, Fill it about halfway with water. Um, you can use boiling water from a tea kettle, or you can use, um, you can put it in the microwave for a minute. So the water is hot. Um, and then you take your oils, your respiratory support oils. Like I said, you can use Breathe because it's such a great combination of all the oils. 
Um, you can build your own. I've got a great, what I call the sinus bomb recipe um, that I'll show you. But you just, after the hot water is steaming in the cup, you just put a few drops of oil on top of it and you kind of like bury your face in it. That's why I said only fill it halfway with water so you don't spill hot water on yourself. And just kind of bury your face in it and breathe that hot water, those amazing uh, oils, and just do that. If you've got severe congestion and you do that every hour or so um, while you're feeling really blocked up, this is going to just blow your mind and <laughs> blow your nose at the same time because you are going to get a lot of, um, have a tissue handy. You're going to get a lot of stuff to blow out of your head, um, which is good because you don't want that stuff in there. That's where it can get infected and you know block up into your ear tubes, an ear infection or a sinus infection or something like that. So I'll post the sinus bomb recipe in the comments um, along with my crud buster in the comments. But um, if a coffee cup isn't big enough, I've also taken um, like a, a big sauce pot or maybe a pot that I cook boiled pasta and noodles in and I'll get that boiling on the stove and then I move it to a cool burner because I don't want it to still be boiling when I breathe it in. But I'll put these oils on top of that water and then take a bath towel and kind of create a tent over my head and just tent myself over that pot. And um, again, I have not had to do this for five years, but I still remember the relief that came um, when the sinuses just feel pressure um, and, and your nose is congested and your sinuses feel pressure and maybe even your skin hurts because you, you feel like something is not good going on in the sinuses. You can really knock that out. And if you're afraid about bacteria um, in the sinuses, take your oregano oil I'm not sure where I put my oregano oil. There it is. Take your oregano oil and just put one drop in that mix. And so what that will do is those, again, those oregano molecules will get into the nose. They'll get into the sinuses. They'll work their way back into the eustachian tubes and it will just clean up all that gunk. So again, be prepared to have your tissues handy and, and be able to blow all that congestion out of there. It's really, really, really going to work. So um, if you have sinus issues frequently, um, I'll tell you a crazy trick that um, I learned in my uh, reference book, but I had to um, have a couple people tell me that it actually worked before I believed it. Um, you remember Digestin? This is an oil blend that um, is good for you know all things digestion. So people will literally take this and dilute it with some coconut oil in a roller ball and roll it over the sinuses. And the oils that are in this um, blend will actually help with chronic situations. So you can actually, again, because everything in the body is connected, right? Um, you can use Digest Zen topically around your belly button for sinus issues. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. So um, those are kind of my favorite winter hacks. Got a thumbs up from Patricia. Um, I do see that we might have a comment or a question in the Zoom chat. Um, and I think that um, that was early in the call. So um, Patricia asked how you use them. And I think we we went through that. But again, I'm going to post all these recipes. Let's see if we've got any Facebook questions. No comments in Facebook. So I'm um, just going to keep this short tonight. But if you have any questions after I post the recipes, let me know. Um, again, essential oils are one of my absolute favorite things in my house for supporting winter wellness for adults, kids. Um, they're safe if you're pregnant. Um, we can dilute them to use on your smallest children. Um, you are going to want to be careful um, not to diffuse things like oregano on the really little ones. Um, Harper was about, I think, about nine months old before we ever put oregano in his um, bedroom diffuser. His nursery smelled like the Olive Garden, <laughs> but... Um, but he had a, a green stuffy nose at the time. Um, his brother was in kindergarten and just kind of bringing those school germs home to him at the time. And Harper got his first really bad head cold and we were able to 
um, at nine months old, we were able to dilute the essential oils uh, for breathing. We were able to put oregano in his diffuser. Um, and boy, that runny nose that had been there for weeks before we started that protocol was gone in a couple days. So um, this is why you want to work with somebody who is certified like me in coaching you for no matter the age or the sensitivity. So let's see, we got another comment. Uh, yeah, oregano can be used for cooking um, and it's, it's great for that also. Um, but just remember, if you're gonna do that, these oils are powerful. They're about 25 times stronger than their herbal equivalent. So if you would use um, you know, a teaspoon of oregano of the dried oregano in something like spaghetti sauce, you literally want to just take a wooden toothpick and um, open up the oil bottle and you see the, the uh, orifice reducer there. Take the wooden toothpick and just stick it in that tiny little hole and pull it out and kind of swirl that through your sauce, um, your dish. And that will be plenty, believe me. Don't put a drop or two, uh, you'll wreck your dish. Um, and I've done that with not only the oregano, but I've done it with the basil oil. Um, and listen to this, on November 1st, I'm glad we started talking about food as a, as a sidetrack just a little bit and cooking with essential oils, because on November 1st, doTERRA is launching a culinary set, and it's a three-piece essential oil set made for cooking. And one of them is Italian, so it's gonna be a lot of the spices we just talked about in an olive oil base. One of them is going to be um, cilantro, and I forget what else is in it, but in an avocado base um, for Mexican type meals, um, cuisine, Latin type cuisine. Um, and then the third one is going to be um, like an Asian flair. It's gonna have the lemongrass and some other stuff in it. Um, in a coconut, an edible coconut oil base. So watch for those on November 1st. I believe that whole three piece set is less than $25. So if you ever wanted to explore cooking with essential oils, um, November 1st is the day to mark your calendar, order your culinary oils um, because they're only gonna be available for a limited time. So that's something else we'll talk about in the um, in one of our uh, late October, early November classes as we'll go all through the holiday catalog um, because doTERRA always hits it out of the park with holiday gift ideas and they're always usually really different than, um, than anything normal they have to offer. So they're not always usually, they're always different. Uh, <laughs> I said that wrong, that's what I paused for. I caught myself saying something that didn't make sense, but been a long day. Started with a, a Zoom call at eight this morning. And after this call, we're going to do this call in and we're going to translate it into Spanish at eight o'clock. So I am going to, um, I don't see anything else in the chat. Uh, I don't see anything else on Facebook. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to post those articles. Um, I mean, recipes, post those recipe graphics that I told you I would. And if you have any questions, comment there. If you watch it on the replay and have questions, comment away. I'm here to answer questions for you anytime. So stay well this winter. Get your oil supply stocked up. Stash up on your on your on guard products so um, we don't start rationing those again. That happened um, in March and April and even May um, with the COVID worries. Everybody started uh, stockpiling on guard. So we. We had to ration it. Um, so just make sure that you're gradually stocked up on everything. Um, get a good diffuser. Make sure every bedroom has a diffuser for winter time. When the heat's running, it puts a little moisture into the air with all these great oils. And um, take care of yourself. Have a good night. See you guys next week.